properties of a cube. Now, the properties of a cube include the face, edge, and vertices. For a cube, let's count the faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The cube has 6 faces. And for the number of edges, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. It has 12 edges. For the number of vertices, let's also count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There are 8 vertices, while the plane of symmetry is where it is divided into two equal halves. As shown on the screen, the cube has 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and nine planes of symmetry. Properties of cuboids. Let's count the surfaces as is highlighted. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We can see it has six faces. For the edges, let's also count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. It has 12 hedges as the cube. Now let's take a look at the vertices. Counting, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There are eight vertices, while the plane of symmetry is where it is divided into two equal halves. As shown on the screen, the cuboid has one, two, and three planes of symmetry. Properties of a cylinder. Let us consider the properties of a cylinder. The faces, the edges, the vertices, as well as the planes of symmetry. Looking at a cylinder, we would see that it has one, two, and three faces. A cylinder has no edges. What about its vertices? A cylinder has no vertices. And for the plane of symmetry, a cylinder has infinite planes of symmetry. This means that the plane of symmetry cannot be counted.
properties of a cone. Let's take a look at the properties of a cone considering the edges, vertices, and plane of symmetry. Here we can see that it has a circular face at the bottom and a curved surface. The cone has two faces. It has no edges. The cone has just one vertex. A cone has infinite planes of symmetry. This means that the planes of symmetry cannot be counted. Properties of a hexagonal prism. For a hexagonal prism, we will see that it has eight faces. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What about the edges? Let's count as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. As you can see, it has got 18 edges. Now to the vertices. Let's also count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and lastly, twelve. A hexagonal prism has got twelve vertices. Properties of a triangular prism. Talking about triangular prism, the number of faces it has isn't the same as that of a hexagonal prism. Let us count together. One, two, three, four, and five. Our triangular prism has five faces. Now let's look into the edges, counting together. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We counted nine edges in a triangular prism. The numbers of vertices are one, two, Three, four, five, and six. While the plane of symmetry is where it is divided into two equal halves. As shown on the screen, a triangular prism has one, two, three, and four planes of symmetry. <music> Property 
phase of a pyramid. For a pyramid, the sides will be counted as part of the face, and so will be the bottom. Both sides and bottom make up the faces, and we can see from the shape on the screen, counting 1, 2, 3, 4, and the bottom 5, that we have 5 faces for a pyramid. Going on to the edges, let us also count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We have 8 edges in a pyramid. And for the vertices, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. A pyramid has got 5 vertices, while the plane of symmetry is where it is divided into two equal halves. As shown on the screen, a triangular brace pyramid has 1, 2, 3, Four, five, and six planes of symmetry. As shown on the screen, a square base pyramid has one, two, three. and four planes of symmetry. Properties of a sphere. Now for a spherical object like a football, we can say that it has just one face, while it has no edges and no vertices. A sphere has infinite planes of symmetry.